As our study in the synagogue library reveals, there does exist a tendency toward Jewish domination of our society. Where is all this headed? The Right Honorable Winston Churchill wrote, It may well be that this same astounding race may at the present time be in the actual process of producing another system of morals and philosophy as malevolent as Christianity was benevolent, which if not arrested would shatter irretrievably all that Christianity had rendered possible. It would almost seem as if the gospel of Christ and the gospel of Antichrist were destined to originate among the same people. Can it be that such pervasive Jewish control which we are seeing today is but the harbinger of even greater Jewish control to come? Israel is the first stage in Satan's plan to take this world from Christ and give it to Antichrist, Israel's false messiah who will rule the world from Jerusalem. This scenario is borne out by none other than Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion, one of the great founders of Israel. Recorded in an astonishing article in Look magazine, Ben-Gurion predicted that a one-world system presided over by Jerusalem will be set up in the near future. All continents will become united in a world alliance at whose disposal will be an international police force. All armies will be abolished, and there will be no more war. In Jerusalem, the United Nations, a truly united nations, will build a shrine of the prophets to serve the federated union of all continents. This will be the seat of the Supreme Court of Mankind to settle all controversies among the federated continents as prophesied by Isaiah. Ben-Gurion's vision of Israel in dominion of the world is identical with the vision of the great harlot ruling the nations as given in Revelation 17. Yet it's a vision which may be postponed. If enough of God's people rededicate themselves to him, and turn from support of a system which seeks their ruin, then Zionist world control can be turned back, at least within our time.